Hey, Bobby, what's your favorite bad word? Mm, probably cocksucker motherfucker. Okay. Hmm. That's all one word to you? Lately, yeah, I'd say so. What do you mean lately? What happened? I mean, what's different? I don't know. I guess I just no longer put any other words in between cocksucker and motherfucker. They've just sort of attached themselves to each other, ass to mouth. Hmm. Almost like a verbal human centipede. Yes. Ew. Say it. You'll dig it, I promise. All right. Cocksucker motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, you're right. My mouth's having fun. Right? Cocksucker motherfucker. <laughs> it's like my tongue just jumped on a skateboard or something. Yeah, man. Vulgarity's where it's at. Oh, absolutely. And at this point in our lives, being the old crows that we are, word life, we're probably never going to grow out of it. Oh, hells no. If anything, we're growing deeper into it. Right. I mean, cocksucker motherfucker might be the longest curse word of all time. Maybe one of the longest words ever, even. I wonder what the longest word ever is, you know? Hmm. Anti-disestablishmentarianism? Wow, you came up with that pretty fast. Remember back in grade school when the teacher wanted everyone to shut the fuck up for a little while so they'd write a long word on the board and everyone had to make a list of every word they could make out of that big word? Mm -hmm. I do. It was fun. Right, because we were idiots. Okay, I'll take that remark. Anyway, one time our teacher told us to bring in the longest word we could think of to be the big word the next day. Oh, wow. So your teacher wasn't even looking to lift a fucking finger then, huh? No, she was not. She was addicted to quaaludes. Such was the time. Ah. Anyway, I remember this kid Brian brought in anti-disestablishmentarianism. Hmm. And this other kid, Mark, brought in anti-disestablishment. He was pretty pissed. Uh, poor Mark. He was a loser. What are you going to do? Mm. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, the earlier you learn how to lose, the better. You're right. Fuck Mark. That cocksucker motherfucker. Nice. Brian was the hero of the day, obviously. Obviously. Well, was he instantly popular? Oh, yeah. Daily blowjobs under the monkey bars from there on out. Hmm. What grade was this again? Mm, second, I think. Oh, not actual blowjobs, just whatever the second grade equivalent of that would have been at the time. Which was? Mm, Jolly Ranches, maybe. Now and Laters. Pretzel Rods. Fun Dip. Mm, I used to love Fun Dip. Yeah, yeah, you and everyone else on the goddamn planet. You know, I always wish that they just sold that vanilla stick that came with it separately so I could buy like ten of them. Yeah, 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 the liquor sticks. You and everyone else on the goddamn planet. Huh, well, did they ever? Mm, I don't really know. Once I discovered actual drugs, I never looked back. Hmm. Neither did your second grade teacher. Mm, ain't that the truth. She was found dead in her car. Really? Mm, no, actually, I just made that up. I don't know why I just did that. Huh. I'm sure she's fine. Well, I mean, now she's dead, probably, but... Why? Was she already really old back then or something? No, not at all. I don't know why I want my second grade teacher dead so badly in this scenario, but I do. I have to own my feelings. Mm -hmm. It's your truth. It is my truth, yes. Even though it's a lie. Well, what difference does that make anymore, right? Oh, absolutely none. You're right. But give it a few years. I'm sure the truth will start to matter too much or some shit like that. <laughs> right, right, right. And we never get anything right, do we? Well, I mean, fun dip. Mm. The lick of sticks, at least. Right, right. Quaaludes. Mm, cocksucker motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. But see, now that's one I could see getting canceled or whatever. Oh, fuck that. I don't know if I could live in a world without cocksucker motherfucker. I'd have to double up on saying retard. <laughs> well, Bobby, I mean, we're already not supposed to say retard, remember? I didn't say retard. I said retard. You said retard. Well, what's the difference? Mm, retards, like a more retarded version of retard? No, 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 Bobby. Well, See, well, you just... Well, no, well, no. So no more retard? No more retard. No retard. No retard. Ixnay on the e-tart, Ray. What? Mm, that's fucked up. <laughs> I mean, how come some people could say shit and some people can't? Like this. She's... Gay? Retarded. Yes. Most of them are. Most who are what? Most gay people are retarded. Okay, well, first of all, that was shot in 1968. God damn it, I can't argue that. And second of all, it was funny when they said it. What, I'm not funny? Eh, I mean, you're funny like a tickle on the roof of your mouth. All right, well. That develops into gonorrhea of the throat. Hmm, that's not funny at all. I'm saying. And how did you find out that I have gonorrhea of the throat? Ah, fuck, I didn't. Not until this very second. Hmm, I knew I shouldn't have gone down on that bald eagle broad. Oh, yeah, holy shit. I told you you were in danger with that one. Oh, I thought you said endangered, as in a species. I, I just thought I would never get the chance again. Ay, ay, ay. Incidentally, bald eagle, overstatement of the year. Really? <coughs> Whoa. Now, is that the gonorrhea of the throat, or is that the lack of baldness? Both. I'd say both. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. They're ganging up. They're ganging up.